Hello guys, I'm Lord Monkus here again today, and uh, today I wanted to make a video showing you how to repair some of your uh, Saturn image files that don't work in Mednafen. Um, some of you have been probably been using SSF as your emulator, and it's a little more, let's just say, forgiving with its uh, with your dumps. Uh, Mednafen is a bit more picky. Um, with this with its games uh, many of them can be repaired though they don't need to go and download them but if you do decide you need to go and re-download try and get dumps from a release group called Darkwater they're amazing I've never come, I haven't come across a bad one yet from them um, some Q and bin files you can fix them up with a program called uh, CD mage but I'll, I'll cover that in another video. Uh, I'm going to cover the more complicated one right now. The ones that come with like, you know, Q, ISO, and a whole bunch of MP3 files. Mednafen just is not going to like this at all. But you are going to need some tools to fix this. You're going to need a way to convert the MP3 files to WAV. I'm going to use FUBAR. You'll need daemon tools to mount it. And then image burn to recreate a Q and bin. So first we'll start with FUBAR. Just clean that up. And you'll drag your MP3 files in. Right click, convert, quick convert. Convert, just put them right back out to where you uh, have them. Now we're done with FUBAR. The reason I like FUBAR, free, nice program, great audio program, love it. Delete the MP3s, you don't need them anymore. Now we got all these WAV files, but if we look in our Q sheet, you'll see all the references to MP3. We need to change those. So we're going to use the Find and Replace tool to bulk edit. First, if you notice, there's a lowercase MP3 and an uppercase MP3. Make sure you have Match Case checked here in the Replace tool. First, we'll start with the lowercase MP3. We want to convert that to WAV. Just WAV lowercase. I don't know if case mat uh, upper or lowercase matters, but I'll just put the lowercase. Replace all. We not converted that, but now we need to convert the uppercase MP3 as well. And for that, we want it to say wave, but the full word WAVE and WAV. Replace all. Save that Q sheet. That's done. Now we need Daemon tools. Daemon tools light and image burn. If you don't have these tools already installed and you go get them, be extremely careful with the install process. They both like to try and install adware crap. You don't want that, but if you're really cautious with the installation and make sure you read every step, make sure you, you know, understand their double double negatives and trying to trick you and install their adware, you can bypass it. We'll need to mount the Q sheet. So just click and drag the Q sheet onto here. And there. Now the now the uh, Sengoku blade is mounted. Next, we'll open Image Burn. Now I'm going to put this out. I already got a test folder here made. I got nothing in it. But we're going to create image file from disk. Make sure you have your DT Soft virtual drive selected here, and you'll see that Sengoku blade is mounted. Now we we'll want to pick our output folder. You tell it wherever you want to put it. I'm going to go to here, test. Rename name this file whatever you want. I'm just going to name it neater just because I'm like that. Sengoku blade.bin, save. And this will, then click the button. This will take a few seconds. Um, while this works, uh, like I said, there is this program called uh, CD Mage. It's a neat little program. It's not very complicated. You just drag a file in and you go file, save as. And I fixed a bunch of games with it. Not every game work. Not every game gets fixed. I've had to re-download dumps, but it will fix some. All right. This is now done with its fancy jingle. Close that. Unmount that. Close that. Now. I did try to get this to work by clicking and dragging onto the Mednafan executable, but it didn't want to work for some strange reason. I don't know why it didn't like it. Um, 
but anyway it will load through the launch box I'll show you right now that it's pointed as you can see right now this is an H emulation testing test you can see I'm pointed directly to it I'll even it's going to that is pointing directly to this one right here and I will show you that it works you see the game works it loads I really don't know why clicking and dragging the cue sheet onto the executable like in my previous video doesn't work but it doesn't I don't know why, but it does work through a front end, which I highly recommend a front end of sorts anyway. Uh, Launchbox is my favorite, but that's just me. Um, now, Bendefend does not like um, PAL region games. Does not like them right now. It's something that they admit it, it doesn't work with it, but they're working on it. There is a workaround right now. Saturn region um, patcher. Uh, I'm not going to actually patch a game because I don't have any right now that aren't patched, but I'll show you how it works. It's extremely simple. Load up the bin file of the game you want patched, and over here on the right, you know, you'll see all these different regions. Uncheck the region that, you know, if it was a PAL game, this would be checked. You would uncheck it, and you can either patch it to, Jap to Japan region. Or North American region you pick whatever region you want and you hit let's patch your image and file patch done you can now go through uh, PAL region games again not all games will accept this I use this on Discworld 1 and 2 Discworld 1 I get to the screen where you gotta press start and for whatever reason the game doesn't recognize the start button on the controller and I've had this problem confirmed with another uh, person put this doing the same thing and Discworld 2 turns the game pink everything is there but it's like I got a pink filter over top of everything but I have managed to convert other games um, I'll show you a game here quick Kale Flying Spodrum uh, this is pointing, I have the Japanese region, but I also converted the, the European region. I'll show you that it is the European. Uh, my KO Flying Squadron 2 European region. And I've patched it. And it will work. It works great. As you see, it loads. Just let it go a bit further here just to prove it and not just to you know get hung up at a weird screen anyways as you see hopefully that helps you in converting the more complicated games like this thanks for watching